Why are you here? Oh boy, we all need a little energy and protection. You know what I'm saying? Welcome to Place of Bliss Academy. I am Sufani, the founder and director of Place of Bliss Academy. I've been in healing work for over 20 years. Can you believe it? With Place of Bliss Academy, we have over 37,000 students at the time of doing this recording and over 60,000 enrollments. And what that means is that you're part of a community that really cares about healing and energy. This class alone has over 20,000 students for a reason and over 1,800 reviews. Why? Because this is an important class. It's something that we all struggle with. So let's talk about what's in this class because it really is a mini master class of how do you maintain your energy? How do you not take on the responsibility of other people's energies? And there are so many nuances to what do we do when we come up against other people's energies. Now, when you are a healer or in the healing industry in some way, that could be through esoteric practices, through Reiki, through shamanism, through your, you might be a doctor or a psychologist or a counselor, any form of service in healing, this is going to speak to you because in dealing with people and helping people, we give so much of our energy that sometimes we can get depleted and people are tricky. So it gets really hard to know what is our responsibility and what is the other person's responsibility. And I have many classes based on that. However, this one is going to give you kind of the cliff notes. First of all, I'm going to go into six steps of protecting and grounding your energy literal steps. I'm talking action steps that you can take to really be mindful of your energy and what you're doing with it, where it's going, how much you have, all of that good stuff. You need to be aware of your energy, but you need to have skill involved to be able to ground and center yourself. And you may already have your own techniques, but this might give you some additional techniques to use, or it might simply be a refresher course for you. But let me tell you, everybody who does this kind of work often needs a refresher that we need to actually keep doing this energy clearing and grounding. So take it in my people. We're going to talk about how important it is to engage self-care. And I'm going to give you ideas of how to do that because so many times healers give to the detriment of themselves, meaning they deplete themselves. And so I'm going to give you some actual techniques of how to make sure that you are not depleting yourself or not taking on the energies of other people or the responsibilities of other people because you're trying to help them. We're going to go into a Q&A because this comes up a lot for healers, especially in the beginning, they want to know if doing energy work can harm anybody. And there's a lot of different energetic and healing questions that come up in the process, no matter what type of healing that you're doing, there's always energy questions and there's always questions about doing harm to someone else or even to themselves in the process of doing this. So the Q and A session is really going to answer all those questions. It's going to talk to you about how to deal with frustrating clients, patients, or even students. It's going to help you with having patience for others, but also for yourself. And let's not forget compassion, compassion for others, empathy for others. But the people that we often forget to give those things to are ourselves. And we need it the most because we need to make sure that if we are constantly giving an output to other people, that we have to make sure that we are building our own energy and we are loving ourselves, giving ourselves compassion and empathy in that process. So I'm going to talk to you about that. We're going to talk about guilt-free boundaries and services because sometimes we feel guilty in saying no. A lot of us do this and we don't know what the boundary is to say no to something. And what I like to do is give you a little different way to look at it so that you can kind of package it in a different way so that you can continue to give of yourself and of your healing services and everything that you do to make the world a better place without depleting yourself and without having to necessarily say no if you just kind of put it in a package that's gonna work for you. And so we're gonna talk about that in this class. Now, you may already know this, but Udemy does not give certificates for free courses. 
And I think that this topic is so important that it needed to be a free course. It's like the introductory to all types of healing. We need to know this. So I really wanted to make it my mission to put this out there. But I also know that you would want a certificate once you complete this course. So if that's you and you finish this course and realize Udemy did not give me a certificate, what I want you to do is I want you to email me And I'm going to put that information of how you do that in the outgoing course message. So whenever you finish a course, you're going to get sent a message from me saying congratulations. And in that congratulation message, I am going to put the email that you send it to. So make sure to look out for that. I'm also going to give you instructions on what to do and how to get a certificate. Okay. So with that being said, you guys, the only next thing that you need to do is take your action step, which is to drop this into your cart. You have nothing to lose and everything to gain. And over 20,000 people so far have said they liked this course and felt it was valuable. And guess what? If you do that, I'll see you in class. Bye.